गाइज वेलकम बैक टू स्मार्ट रीडर दिस इज डायस पॉल एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ऑल योर लाइक्स कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड इफ यू न्यू व्यूअर दैन गो टू माई चैनल एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज एंड फॉर द वन हो नॉट एट वॉच माई टेक्निकल इंडिकेटर प्रीवियस वीडियोज लाइक एम ए सी डी एंड आर एस आई ऑल दैट दैन गो टू आर प्ले लिस्ट एंड इन प्ले लिस्ट यू जस्ट गो टू टेक्निकल इंडिकेटर्स एंड यू कैन गो वॉच द वीडियोज इफ यू ऑलरेडी मिसड इट एंड इफ यू नॉट एट मिसड इट इफ यू वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज दैन गुड दैन यू कैन कंटिन्यू वॉचिंग द टेक्निकल इंडिकेटर वीडियोज सो दैट यू डोंट मिस द फ्लो सो इफ यू फील दीज वीडियोज आर हेल्पफुल दैन हिट दिस सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड ऑल्सो डोंट फॉर गेट टू हेट दिस बेल लाइकन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफिकेशन सो वेन एवर आई अपलोड अ वीडियो एंड सो दैट यू डोंट मिस दोज For the ones who wants additional services, as you know, you can WhatsApp my team, customer care team, seven eight nine two six five two four eight one. Sunday is a holiday for them, so you can WhatsApp them from Monday to Saturday. Okay, and also for the ones who wants to open an account through me, you can click the link in the about section or else in the video description, uh, zero da or upstock. These are two DMAT accounts. You can click any of these and open your account. So the people who are opening this account will be added to my Telegram channel. So without wasting time, let's start off with today's topic. So in today's topic, we are going to talk about the stochastic oscillator. So for the ones who you know who are aware of fundamental analysis and technical analysis, there are two types of analysis which normally they do. That is fundamental way of analysis analyzing. and one is technical way so in technical uh, way of analyzing what we do we use a technical indicator so this technical indicators will help you you know to take a better position not that they are 100% accurate but these are just like an indication which will help you pick a trade or in you know exit a trade or else to stay in a trade so these are like they will boost your confidence and also they will support you whether you are right or wrong these will give you indications so a lot of traders normally use for intraday short term or long term they use this technical indicators they use a lot of mix and match of indicators to find out their own trade setup and strategy so they use a lot of indicators so you should be knowing each and every indicator so one among them is stochastic oscillator so we will be talking about stochastic oscillator so few logic behind this which i would like to mention you so that when i show you practically on the chart so that you get the idea so keep two things in mind one thing is that the overbought and oversold zone is there so that they can book profits or exit so the one is that option next one we have a uh, black line crosses above red we they normally go to buy side and uh, black crosses below red they go to sell side so what is this logic uh, how to understand this logic i will show you practically just read this so if you if you don't understand read this again and again and then watch the practical video which i show you so now let's apply the stochastic oscillator so you have an option of period so the number of periods you want to calculate so this is the default period all the traders use and based on the time frame you give this period has been calculated so 15 minutes 14 candles will be calculated if you use 1 hour can one day candle then 14 if you do it will be 14 days so this is nothing but 14 candles it will pick the time frame you can decide whether it is 2 minutes 3 minutes 15 minutes one day so it will pick only 14 candles and calculate based on that overbought and oversold zone if you see they have given as 80 and 20 so it is said that whenever the value goes above to 80 it is over bought that is lot of people are buying lot of people have bought this stock so or always buying is done and whenever it is oversold that lot of people are sold this stock so many people have sold that it has gone to the extent so i'm just giving done so that it is created over here just expanding that so this is how the indicator looks if you see it looks similar to the rsi in rsi if you see there will be a single line where you will get to know overbought whenever it goes above it will be overbought and in coming it will be oversold so you will know overbought and oversold so same like how i explained in the slides you saw you will get to know overbought and oversold so for example a person who is there in a long trade that is he has bought us shares okay and whenever it goes into overbought that is this 80 line so it is an uh, indication this is an indicator right so it is indication that yes currently the number of shares are overbought it's high time for me to book profit here or i should exit if i am in a wrong trade and I'm, the stock is going to fall right now so i have to exit so this overbought and oversold positions you'll get to know right so nobody they will say generally don't take a trade during a overbought because lot of people have bought now sellers will come into picture 
so they will tell you not to buy the stock when it is in overbought zone and same way they will say don't sell a stock when it is in oversold because everyone has sold the stock it has come to the lower level anytime it can recover if you see whenever it touches later it recovers so they will generally tell don't sell here it may not go further down so that is the logic behind this indicator one more thing what has been added to this indicator is that the black line and red line which i showed you the logic it is nothing but it is always said that whenever the black line crosses above the red line they consider a buy direction and whenever the black line goes below the red they try to sell that is the logic behind now when do you buy and when do you sell like i told you don't try to do the buy and sell in the overboard board zone they say right so whenever the uh, stock the stock is below that the stochastic is below the oversold okay a lot of people have sold the stock now buyers will come now when to buy because in rsi you know it is in oversold when to enter so whenever it crosses over like this you get a second confirmation okay in oversold now it is time to buy so a lot of people would have started buying over here considering this indicator which is not 100% right but i will tell you the limitations also so here they will try to enter the stock now the stock goes here and it has touched the over uh, bought zone and suddenly it reverses now they they are ready that to exit either when it touches the over bought zone over here or else they will exit right over here so same way uh, this particular indicator will be used in this particular logic that is nothing but over uh, bought and oversold regions along with that they will use this particular black line and red line so they normally tell that k and d so this particular thing whenever it crosses over just like macd they try to take the position just to get a confirmation when to enter enter over here exit over here so they take the confirmation like that same way when you change the time interval this particular thing will change and uh, it depends for example you go for short term trading you normally use one day one day candlestick right so it will vary and when you do intraday trading normally they use 3 minutes 2 minutes 1 minute so based on that these particular indicators will be used now the limitation is that uh, not any indicator is 100% right you need to use this with along other indicators plus for this particular limitation for this particular indicator is that this will only help you in a trending market when the market is going upside or when the market is going downside based on the trend so it will not um, help you when the market is you know uh, you know almost flat and uh, when the volatility is high this mark this will not help you because it will give you a lot of wrong signals as per my experience because whenever the uh, volatility is high this will just go up and down and uh, you know taking position from down will not help you even though it is going up it may come down like this so be very careful this uh, alone will not help you yes the trend of the uh, price you have to check on that also how the trend of the price is going is it going sideways is it is going up or is it going down based on that if the trend is going up then take advantage towards the buy side only whenever you are getting a buy near the oversold zone then take advantage and when the price trend is falling the downwards trend downtrend that time whenever you get a oversold uh, sell over here in the top that is when people sell it not everywhere so yes you will get a lot of false signals so always to keep to avoid that you have to keep price uh, the price trend in your mind which side the trend is okay so hope uh, this uh, video was an add on to your knowledge it's a simple indicator just like your rsi it just uh, it has added one more line to it with a few other logic of crossovers okay so hope this uh, video helped you guys so if you like this video please do hit that like button also share this video with all your friends and colleagues who are learning trading and also subscribe to the channel see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye